Hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you my secret mixer brush tool settings that i use for frequency separation and retouching if you're struggling with the settings you use for your mixer brush tool when you're editing or when you're retouching then i think this video is for you let's jump right into the video and start editing but before that intro my name is Cordelia and i'm a photographer and a retoucher I post Photoshop retouching and editing tutorials here every week. So if you love to learn one or two tips and tricks or are interested in learning how to edit and retouch your pictures in Photoshop, kindly like this video and consider subscribing to support me and create more. Alright, so first and foremost, we're going to create our frequency separation adjustment layers. I have an action already over here in my action panel, so I can choose to play it. But for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to create a new one for you guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to press Ctrl J to duplicate like this. We're going to duplicate it twice and then we're going to change the name of this one to color. And we're going to change this one to texture. Then we're going to hide the first one and then come to the color layer. Then we're going to go to filter we move to blur, Gaussian blur. So we we'll set the radius to 6.4. Press OK. I'm going to select the texture layer, make it visible. And we're going to go to image, come to applied image. Then we're going to change this to color. If yours is not at color already, just change it to color. And then we change the blending mode to subtract and then we're going to keep the opacity at 100 the scale at 2 and the offset at 128 and then we're going to select ok then we're going to come here and then create a layer between these two and rename that to tone then now we're going to select the texture layer and the color layer together and then group them by pressing ctrl g and I'm going to rename this to frequency separation. All right, so now we're going to open this. We're going to change this uh, texture layer to, we're going to change the blend mode to linear lights like this. So we have our image back to how it was before. All right, so we're going to zoom in a bit. to this this is okay so if we're gonna select our color layer then we're gonna select our mixer brush tool like this then we're gonna come here to the brushes and then select soft round brush so now we're gonna leave this and then we we'll come here to this checkbox over here we we'll press here and then select load solid colors only yes then you're gonna leave this unchecked this is different you're gonna leave it unchecked like this and then you're gonna check this then we're gonna select this and then move to custom leave it at custom then now for the settings itself keep the width at 50 percent and then the load at 27 percent like that and then the mix at 23 percent and then the flow at 100 percent and make sure this is unchecked this airbrush make, make sure it's unchecked make sure this is set this is smoothness make sure it is set to 100 percent all right so now we have our settings done so now we kind of we're gonna come back to the image and then move it up a bit at this point a like to this video will really be appreciated so with the color layer selected we're just gonna zoom in a bit we can zoom in up to say 30 percent is okay for now well, let's let's zoom out a bit so 20 27 percent is okay so we have our highlights over here on her forehead and we have some mid-tones over here so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna just brush like that i'm using my mouse to do it if you have your work on we can use that as well but that setting is a bit different from that of the mouse but i normally love to do it with the mouse so now let's go ahead and then start all right so we're gonna smoothen this part up that is the forehead the highlight on the forehead 
So you keep doing it until everything is smoothing up nicely. Alright, so as you can see, there are some smoothness going on in there. So let's check the before and after. So this is the before and this is the after. So we're going to proceed to the other sides of her forehead as well. But the same set as nothing has been changed. So we just keep doing it like that. So I'm going to speed this side up and show you the before and after. Right, so we're done with the forehead as the before and this is the after. So as you can see, it is smooth and looking good. So now we can proceed to the other sides of her face. So with the same thing, we keep brushing. There's a highlight on her nose, so I'm going to zoom in a bit. And then just brush it like this. So you just have to make sure you take you take your time when you're doing it to get the best results. So we're now on her cheek, on her cheekbone. So we're gonna do the same thing. Just make sure this side is a little bit dark, so we'll make sure you're working only in the dark, the, the shadows. Don't spread it into the highlights. So we keep going like that. So sometimes you just have to zoom it out and then check the overall image whether everything is going as you want it. So you zoom into her nose a bit. Play that side as well. So this is the before and this is the after. As you can see, there's some difference, great difference in the image. So now, let me add a little bit here. Zoom in a bit, zoom out a bit and see the image. Yeah, it's looking good. So now we come to her body. So it's the same thing. You make sure you're working only in the shadows and then if it's in the highlights, make sure you're working only in the highlights. As you can see over here, it's kind of dark. So there's a lot of shadows over here. And then over here on her skin. So we keep going like that until everything is perfectly smooth and looking good so let's zoom out fully so this is the before and then this is the after as you can see the image is looking nice and the face is looking smooth yes let me zoom in more and check the before and after again yes so so this brings us to the end of today's video this is my secret mixer brush tool settings that i use for almost all my images so if you love this video or this video helped you kindly drop us a like and then hit subscribe if you haven't yet thank you so much for your time and then thank you so much for staying with me hope you enjoyed the video